and gentlemen to the YouTube channel. Uh, today using the R Studio and the R system I would like to show you how the support vector machine classification is working and how we can figure out some of its key parameters. The package E1071 includes the support vector machine. This package was developed by the Technical University of Wien. I turn on the package. The data set today I will use to demonstrate how is it working will be the so-called IRIS data set. This is uh, based on Fisher and Derson's data collection. Uh, three spaces, Setosa, Versicolor and Virginica were evaluated. And the first three rows of this table uh, looks like this. So sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width were measured and the three spaces are listed uh, in a separate column. So the classification works the way that uh, I create model number one. It will be a support vector machine model. The species uh, will be classified uh, using all the data. So if I don't list uh, the selected names, column names, then I can use the dot means everything else. The data table of iris is used. Now the classification is done. The summary function will tell us the details of this model. Right now you can see that the C-type classification with radial kernel is working. The number of support vectors is 51. It means that 8 vectors describe the first class, 22 the second and 21 the third class. Uh, this classification works uh, a bit similar by principle like discriminant analysis, but uh, it is uh, looking for high density location in the multidimensional space. And these are the so-called support vectors. They are used uh, to figure out where are the hyperplanes uh, separating the classes. Uh, we can do everything uh, with support vector machine and its uh, uh, object uh, like uh, we did before with classification. For example, we can make a confusion table. The iris table species can be compared against the prediction of model number one. And you can see here that the 50-50 50 uh, pieces, how they are recognized. Of course, the diagonal values highlight the correct classification and two pieces of versicolor are recognized as virginica and two pieces of virginica recognizes uh, versicolor. So here are the mistakes. We can automatically calculate it if uh, we save it uh, to a table and uh, the diagonal values of this table show us the correct classification. So the summary of the diagonal elements from these table values against the summary, the total summary of all table elements show us the correct classification rate, which is 97.33%. Uh, uh, of course, this value will be scaled from 0 to 1. If you want to, uh, to use a, a graphical output, of course, we can plot uh, the classification model on the data of iris and uh, the axis should be, let's say, petal width against the petal length. And then we will be able to see how the classification looks like. And here are the classes, how they were recognized and separated by color. Maybe here are uh, some mixed values and here is the confusion, the pieces. If you check uh, the support vector machine, the support vector machine itself has uh, four kernel functions, linear, polynomial, radial, and sigmoid. And in three types, there is a parameter called gamma. So when we want to classify our data set, we have to choose first the kernel type. And maybe uh, if we are uh, not really satisfied with the result or would like to fine tune, uh, we should adjust the gamma value, gamma value as well. For polynomial, also the degree is a question. The default degree 
has uh, the value of 3. So third order polynomial is used. The gamma has the default value of the reciprocal value of the data dimension. In our case, in the iris table, maybe you remember, there are four data columns. It means that the default value for the gamma is 1 fourth, so 0.25. Now I will show you how to make a function that it is trying to figure out uh, the kernel function and maybe uh, the best value for gamma or suggestion to it. So gamma tuning and kernel selection for on iris. So now I fix in, in the uh, function the iris table what classification I want to run and the support vector machine. So tune gamma will be the name of the function. And I will use one parameter, scale. How I want to scale the default value of gamma? Uh, 0.5 uh, will be used. So 15% half uh, will be the difference. First, I will list what kernels are available. Exactly like it is in the hub, how I can give as a parameter uh, to the support vector machine function that is linear, that is polynomial, polynomial, and then radial, and finally sigmoid. So these are uh, four different approaches. Uh, basically, the shape uh, of the hyperplane is different. So uh, we should use this uh, depending on the distribution of our data. So the gamma default value uh, for iris table will be 1 divided by 4 because we have four columns and the reciprocal value is the default value. For your data set, of course, you have to define your own one. The default gamma results will be uh, prepared as a container of zero values first with the length of the list of kernels. And uh, this will be for the default results. And uh, I will use uh, low gamma values I make the container for it uh, default and high values will be default. So I make containers filled with zero at the beginning for the default setup, lower gamma, higher gamma values. And now comes the classification. Uh, from 1 to the length of kernels. I will run the classification. Uh, first, I will make a temporary model. So I delete everything here, uh, not to confuse my uh, function at all. So there will be a temporary model. Support vector machine pieces against everything else on the data table of iris and now additionally I will define that I want to use the kernel uh, according to the kernel uh, current kernel list kernels I according to the index value of the current kernel and the gamma will be the gamma default value. So I make a temporary table using the table function like it was listed here when I calculated uh, the efficiency. So the iris table species column, the groups, are compared against the prediction with the temporary model. And now the default, because this is uh, calculated with the default values, for the specific kernel, the default classification result will be the summary of the diagonal elements of the table 
against the summary of the table. So this is it, how with the default value it is working. And right now, because now I'm super lazy, I just make a copy paste and first I will minus with scale times the gamma default value and then the result will be the low value and I copy again then I plus scale times gamma default value then it will be high of course if you uh, wish you can make a second uh, for cycle for the three gamma uh, values now I'm super lazy I just repeat it one by one uh, the default first and then with uh, lower gamma and then with higher gamma and I do it for all kernels when it is finished I will return the result of the calculation as a data frame it will be a table uh, of course the kernels because I list all results according to the kernels the gamma low, the gamma default and the gamma high values so now I will select the function, run it ok, no error message it means that I didn't make a syntax error at least it seems to work so with Control L I make an empty console and then I will try this tune gamma function to check uh, how the different kernel functions and the gamma tuning is working with the scale now I will enter 0 0.5 uh, you can make it with smaller 0 0.2 0 0.1 it's up to you and here is the result okay it is uh, running without any error so I also didn't make mistake inside the code here you can see that with the default value, the radial, uh, which was automatically selected by the support vector machine function, has the efficiency of 97.33%. Uh, and you can observe that among the others, this is the best with the default setup. If we change, uh, the linear uh, has no effect. Uh, the linear kernel doesn't show any difference because uh, the gamma is not included here it cannot have any effect on the linear type of calculation but uh, on the others yes for example the polynomial will increase its efficiency if i increase the gamma value the radial will increase the efficiency if decrease the gamma value and also the sigmoid can increase the efficiency if I decrease the gamma value. So here you can compare everything. And now the global best value I see here, which means that the radial kernel with low gamma value is the best option, the best combination right now for the iris data table. This is what you can uh, run on your own data table. Similarly, to pick up which kernel function is suitable for your data set. It can be different, not always the radial is the best. And of course you can also fine tune radial and maybe uh, the degree of the polynomial function can also change. Uh, if you wish, you can also fine tune it, but maybe the third order polynomial is enough, it is a general recommendation. So, thank you very much for your attention. Here you could see how we can use the support vector machine and figure out the kernel, the suitable possible kernel and the gamma value for it. Thank you.